Hi all, this is part two of our Windows XP build. In this video we're going to install Windows XP, I hope, and uh, the necessary motherboard drivers. And part three will be where we install one of these. I haven't decided which one yet, but one of those will be installed. Anyway, I've got speakers connected up, got the disc, I want you pointing that way because I'm sure we all know how to put a CD in a computer. Turn the power on at the back, that would help. Turn on, insert the disc. I'm using Service Pack 3 in case you're wondering. I'm going to zoom you in on the monitor. So that's what we need to concentrate on now. That should come up saying boot from... Press any key to boot from CD, so you just hit pretty much any key on the keyboard. What I'll do... I'll get as far as when they're set up... I'm going to change that DVD drive in there, because it's making a horrible whining noise. <laughs> It's working, but it's making one heck of an awful whining noise. Anyway, what I'll do, I'll get to the point to where it starts installing Windows XP, and then I will pause the camera and uh, put it back on when we get to the next stage. Otherwise, there's just going to be an awkward silence. Oh, and I did have to take out the 200 gig, because I was playing around before I put the camera on, and this one didn't want to play ball. I may not have the... Ah, that might be why. I didn't have the jumble settings right, that might be why I was playing up. Oh well, 160 gigabytes is big enough. <sighs> yeah, this bit can be a bit time consuming. It sounds like there's a a dry gear wheel or something in that DVD ROM drive. Do, 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 do. I'm going to get the next bit. Right, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select that top section, like so. I'm going to give it a quick format using the NTFS file system, so I'll select that, enter, confirm by pressing F, and there we go, I'll quickly format that, and it usually is a pretty quick format. Even quicker if you had a smaller hard drive. files over that it needs. Creating a list of files to be copied. I might actually pause you for this bit because that can take several minutes. I don't know if you can hear that whine through the camera but that is driving you bonkers. Right, I'm just going to pause you for this bit. Well, we're at the installation screen. Thing. Yep, installing Windows. So I just thought I'd flick you back on it. It goes on at this stage automatically from when it was copying its files, so you haven't missed anything. My brother's having some issues with his, it keeps blue screening. Now I've already gone ahead, googled the motherboard and got all the drivers on a flash drive so we're ready to go I've also been ahead and downloaded the drivers for the two video cards that I want to use 
and I'm not sure which one I want to use yet, so we will see. Right, so I, I can't really do much more. This is just a waiting game now. You can go away, make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a hot cocoa, whatever you fancy to drink. And uh, just leave it to do its thing until it prompts you. And uh, what I'll do, I will turn you back on when it prompts for the next stage. Okay, this bit is a bit self-explanatory. Name, you can just change that to whatever name you want. Organisation, it could be home or again, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter in this case. There we go. Next. Always sits as Everest. What should we call it? I don't know. Let's call it Zeus. <laughs> Administrator password. Well. If you want one, set one. If you don't, you don't need to set one. Bum, 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 bum. Bit I want to change is that. Times an hour ahead, but I can't be bothered to change that. No. We'll just leave it. Okay. Last stage. Installing necessary drivers. So I'm just going to take that and plug it into any USB port. Like so. Just got to let it install the actual drivers for the uh, flash drive itself. I should go ahead and take the uh, CD out while I'm at it. the setup .exe that's what I want to run it might ask throw a wobbly and ask me to uh, unzip it looks like it's not going to it's just as easy as uh, following the on screen um, prompts Right then, I'm just going to restart. I could have just installed all the others, but I prefer to restart after each one. So it's just not going to take long to restart. I actually forgot to mention, and I will show this in another video, but uh, you may have to change the boot order, which means going into the BIOS, because you need it to boot from the CD first. Um, but like I said, I actually totally forgot about that till now, but I will cover that in another video. It'll be a very quick uh, how-to. The graphics are certainly changed. I think this is the VIA chipset update. I think that's what this one is. Next, 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 what we've got to do, Oof. let it do its thing, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. 
And aside from a possible BIOS update and chipset drivers and uh, your LAN, your audio and VGA drivers, there's not really a lot to uh, sit and install. That failed to install? None. Oh, okay. We start again. Don't worry, we've got to do this four times, so it's a bit like lather, rinse, repeat. I'll tell you what, just from that computer running in here, this room is actually quite warm. Just to just to demonstrate how hot a PC can, or how much heat a PC can give out. do really apart from just sit here and stare at it while it's doing this and chat about nonsense till the next one comes along. You probably notice we've got no sound yet. That's let's do the LAN because that doesn't usually require a reboot. When you go into these you just look for the one that says set up exe and just click on it. That's the only one you're interested in. We don't want anything else. This is just so the LAN works. It may have even already been installed and working, but so a lot of the time I find with Windows XP it isn't and you need to install the drivers, so It was actually for the, a real tech card. Ooh, okay. Maybe the LAN's already working. Right. Audio. Again. Set up EXE. I've got the speakers plugged in and turned on so we'll soon know if audio actually works. If it doesn't work then I've got the wrong drivers. <laughs> I'll have to go googling again. It's uh, uh, relatively easy to set up a PC. So I'm pretty much done. It's set up and ready to go for someone to, uh, well, if this was like back in the day of XP, that would be ready to go for someone to take home and install whatever programs they want to install on it. You know, such as Firefox and I don't know what else. probably taken me, I don't know, about 45-50 minutes. It's not going to seem that on camera because obviously I've cut a lot of the waiting out, but uh, in real time it would take, like I said, about 45, 45 minutes to an hour to get it set up to here and I don't think the audio driver worked because I didn't hear anything. I've got no audio icon. Why have I got a vinyl deck? What the hell is uh, If I can't get the onboard audio to work, this isn't gonna this isn't a big problem. If I can't get the onboard audio to work, I've always got um, sound cards that I can throw in and get those to work, so 
not an issue. Like I said, it's not an issue. What I can try is just, well, what I will do is just double check my settings. I'm going to go into control panel, start settings control panel on this one. I'm going to switch to classic view because I prefer that. I'm going to go down to the big speaker, sounds and audio devices. No audio devices installed, so that's the problem. So that was the wrong driver, so I've got a choice. I can either shut down, check my motherboard model number, because I can't remember it, perhaps write it down, go back to the computer and see if I can find a different one. Or I can just put a sound card on, but I'm going to do the easy one first. I'm going to shut down. And I'm going to look for the uh, model number of the motherboard in here. No matter, I've got the side cover unscrewed already. I'm just going to double check yet, isn't the right circuit? Right. Now your board number on a lot of motherboards are usually in in the middle or in between one of the PCI slots and I can see it here it's an MS-6787 version 2. I've got version 1 over here which is actually on its last legs it's got a blown capacitor on it. I could try and replace it it's only the one that's gone at the moment. So uh, I'll see if we can get this. What I'll do, I'll shut it down. I'll go and see if I can find more audio drivers. I'm going to need my flash drive for that, aren't I? I just took that out. What did I do with it? Did I bury it? No. Ha! It's disappeared. Never mind. Like I said, what I'll do... Oh, here it is. I'll go see if I can find some more audio drivers. Right. Decided on this option for this machine. So we've got some extra going on. Slide that into any one of the PCI slots, like so. And the next job plug it on our speakers. I'm not going to screw it in yet just in case it doesn't work. I've got the driver for it on there as well. I think I've got the driver for it on here. We're about to find out. Should we plug it in, ready? I hope I've got the driver for it. Found hardware and it's trying to install the drivers. Right, okay about that. On my computer. Removable disk. Although it did just say it's installed, but might not work properly till we till we reboot. But uh, I'm going to go ahead with this. It's in blinking Spanish, I think. <laughs> Okay. 
a little bit difficult because it is in Spanish. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to waste through it. So, be a good idea if you download it to download it, the English version. If you're not familiar with the install process. Turn that one. Maybe it's somewhere there. Should uh, give us some form of tunage. I hope. I don't want to have to go back to the drawing board or well if I do I will just leave the video here we'll come back to the audio simple No audio. <laughs> Got the old speakers thing there. sound. I might just go and get my headphones, just double check with the headphones. Troubleshooting. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here, otherwise it's going to trail on for too long. So uh, if I haven't got it fixed before the next video, we will come back to it anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you found the video useful, and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye!